never get on the radio. So many of you sent this story in. So many of you sent it in, and uh, you just knew we'd have something to say about this. Deborah LaFave, a former Florida school teacher, has pleaded guilty for having sex with a 14 year old male student. And what was her sentence? Jail time? No. Fine? No. Her sentence was 10 years of what they call community control and probation. Lefebvre, 25, pleaded guilty to committing two counts of lewd and lascivious battery on the Greco middle school student. Lefebvre could have been sentenced to 30 years or more in prison if she had been convicted in a trial, which had been scheduled to begin next month in Tampa. But under a plea agreement with Hillsborough County prosecutors in Tampa, Lefebvre agreed to accept three years of community control, including electronic monitoring, and seven years of probation. She must enter a sexual offender treatment program and cannot have any unsupervised contact with children. Here's what she said in court before she was sentenced. I accept responsibility for my actions. I'm very sorry for everything that has occurred. Yeah, well, so are we. Another condition of the agreement is that Lefebvre cannot profit from her conduct through book deals, television appearances, or other commercial activity. Her attorney had planned to offer an insanity defense if there was a trial. Oh, please. Lefebvre was married at the time she began having sex with the student, but is now divorced. She had taught reading at the school for two years prior to her arrest in June 2004. After the boy's parents found out who he was having sex with, they allowed police to tape telephone calls between the two, which led to her arrest. The boy has not been identified. Prosecutors said the boy's parents approved of the plea deal because they did not want him to have to testify at trial. The case gained national attention after pictures of a fave wearing a bikini and straddling a motorcycle appeared on the Internet. Lefebvre's attorney, John Fitzgibbons, made headlines in July when he said his client was, quote, too pretty to survive prison. He said to place an attractive young woman in that kind of hell hole is like placing a piece of raw meat in with the lions. Well, then people like that shouldn't be committing crimes. Now, you know as well as I do. We were talking about a 25-year-old man having sex with a 14-year-old girl would not be wearing an electronic bracelet. He'd be in prison doing hard time. We know he would not be getting off with probation or parole or anything of the kind. We know he'd be in prison making big rocks into little rocks. Well, the idea that this slut, this whore, this predator, this rapist, rapist, she committed statutory rape. The idea that all she gets is probation and have to be monitored for three years, that's all she gets? Totally, absolutely, outrageous. Now, Deborah Lefebvre's ex-husband, Owen Lefebvre, appeared on the early show on CBS. And I've seen the ratings for the early show on CBS. You probably didn't see this. In fact, I don't think anybody saw this. 
In fact, more people probably hear it now than heard it on CBS. So uh, this is Owen LaFave, the ex-husband of Deborah LaFave. Deborah LaFave, the Florida middle school teacher who made headlines for having a sexual affair with a 14-year-old student, has agreed to a plea deal that will allow her to avoid prison time. As part of the deal, LaFave will serve three years of house arrest and seven years probation. She was also stripped of her teaching license and must register as a sex offender. Owen LaFave is Deborah's ex-husband. Good morning, Owen. Good morning. What was your reaction? Of the plea agreement. You know, I think I was just shocked. Um, I, I think all of us need to keep in mind that she is a sexual offender, and uh, if it were a male, uh, she would have definitely gotten some jail time. In this case, she didn't. The boy's parents, understandably, the victim's parents did not want him to testify in right. court. So, so that was part of the decision here. But she could have faced as much as 30 years of jail time. Why do you think she deserved it? You know, I don't think she deserved 30 years. I think that was extremely excessive. But uh, she is a sexual offender, and I think uh, these um, type of people need to be keeping off the kept off the streets and there needs to be some sort of a deterrent uh, to prevent other teachers uh, you know from acting in the same type of behavior so you think it sends a bad message to parents teachers and you know I, th I think it does because it's all of a sudden it's it's not so bad you know you don't have to go to jail I mean in fact you can sit home for for three years and it's it's just not you know it's, it doesn't have that uh, connotation uh, as being as bad as I think it would have uh, with a jail sentence her lawyer said she was too pretty to go to jail what did you think of that well, pretty people don't go to jail right hmm. But, uh, I mean, that was just ridiculous. I mean, I think that was just kind of setting up the sentiment that if it did go to trial, um, you kind of put the bug in the jury's ears that, you know, she, we can't send her to jail. You had been married just 11 months when she was arrested. Can you put into words what this whole ordeal has been like for you? It, it's, you know, it's, it's been an exciting ride to a certain extent, but it, at first it was just miserable. It was the most intense pain I've ever gone through in my life. And, uh, but it's made me stronger, um, and it's really, it's... Uh, it, a lot of good has, has resulted from it. Um, I'm, a lot, well, I'm a lot stronger person, and uh, I've, I've gone through things that in my life that I never thought I'd have to go through, and it's really, um, you know, built up my character, and uh, it, you know, it's just made me stronger. Deborah is forbidden contact with children. Do you think she's at risk to offend again? You know, I don't know that she is. And, I, you know, now that she can't teach, I don't know that she'll have an opportunity uh, to have contact with, uh, you know, younger children. Um, so, I, yeah, I'm not really sure. Her lawyers were planning an insanity defense. Was she insane at the she, time? No, she wasn't insane. I mean, she had some mental problems she was being treated for. Um, but, you know, insane, I mean, it's such a strong word, and I, I, I seriously doubt that she was. But you feel that she does need some serious psychiatric counseling? I, I think she needs some intense psychiatric counseling. And, and in fact, you know, the judge ordered her to, mm -hmm. to uh, receive some counseling. So I, I, mean, I think it's, it's good for her. What are your feelings towards her at this point? You know, I think she's been given a second opportunity, and I think she needs to make the best of it. Um, um, I don't hold any ill will towards her. I've tried to put that behind me and just move on with my life. And she apologized to the boy's family in court yesterday, and she took responsibility for her actions, but one couldn't help but notice that she did smile several times in the courtroom. Do you think she understands the gravity of what she's done? I don't think she does. And I think, you know, time and time again in conversations I had after her arrest, I don't think she can make the distinction of how wrong it really is to have a sexual relationship with a child. And that's one of the things that's most disturbing to me. Well, I understand uh, that this has been tough for you, and we do wish you well, and thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. It's Owen LaFave. Owen LaFave on CBS is the early show. All right, uh, what do you think? Deborah LaFave, three years of monitoring. They'll put a bracelet on her or an ankle bracelet or something. And uh, seven years of probation, and uh, she has to register as a sex offender. But no jail time. You think that would have happened if she was a man? <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. That sounds like you got the best job of them all. You betcha, baby. The Tom Likas Show. Like Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. JT on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's up? Not much, JT. Hey, first time, long time, man. Thank you. Hey, I got to say, I really, really dig your show, but I got to tell you what, this chick pisses me off. Why? I mean, well, I mean, just like, who was it, the ex-husband that was being interviewed? Yes. You know, he said it perfectly. If that was a guy dating some 14-year-old slut, I mean, he would have gone to prison for years. That's right. It, it, you know, that just goes to show that ju this judicial system is jacked. Well, it's not just the, just the judicial system. I think there's a lot of members of the public who think that uh, 
If you're a 14-year-old girl having sex with an adult, you're a victim. And if you're a 14-year-old boy having sex with an adult, you're a stud. <laughs> exactly. You know, I remember being a kid, I had, t- I had total crush on my... My uh, junior high teacher, if she would have taken me to the SAG, I would have been stoked. No doubt. (laughs) But, uh, you know, I just wanted to make that comment, and I think you're the man. Uh, Take me out old school, brother. Here you go, JT. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to John on the Tom Likas show. John. We'll go looking for John. We'll say hi to Riley. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? <laughs> well, I'm a little discouraged. I mean, this chick, you know, I don't care if she's 25, 35, 45. You know, she, you know, when you become a teacher, you know, you, you got to abide by what the law says. Right. And just because she's hot doesn't mean she shouldn't be thrown in there with all those other women offenders and have her innocence taken from her. So well, the, uh, the implication there is if you're hot, you can get away with anything. You shouldn't have to suffer any consequences because you're hot. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. All these feminists want equal rights. Well, there should be equal punishment, too, you know? Yeah, where are they now? Where are the yeah. uh, feminists now? Why aren't they protesting uh, that this woman get jail time? Yeah, I mean, where are, the, where are the women at? You know, they want everything equal. Then you know what? She should be in jail for 30 years that's you know, right she have to suffer she should have to fear every day that's right waking up uh you're right <laughs> so i mean it just doesn't make sense just like that cat and yesterday you know oh she's a woman you know what she broke the rules tough live with it absolutely right you know i just I, it doesn't make sense you know you want equal rights you want equal treatment, but no, no you're... No, women do not want equal rights. They want superior rights. Yeah, well, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, they should throw her in the pit and leave it. Throw her in the pit, baby. Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mark. I'm a probation officer. And I work in San Diego County. I used right. to supervise sex offenders. And actually, the sentence that that woman got isn't far off from what, I don't want to say the standard, but that's pretty typical for that type of crime, actually. For women. Um, for women or men. Really? Well, You're telling yeah. me that, that men would have sex with a 14-year-old girl and get no jail time? I don't want to say no jail time, but... Well, I'll she's getting no jail time. time. None. Zero. Well, her, I, I think her three years being supervised in the house is kind of similar. It's not the same. You know what? Yeah. If I can be supervised in my home with a computer and my direct TV, it is not the same as being in prison. Granted, it's a little different. I'm just saying it's, it's a lot different. I, I, I've seen male... talk on the telephone, make dinner for myself, no running a tin can across the bars of the cage. I mean, come on. Believe it or not, there are some cases out there where, in in circumstances where there's there's consent and there isn't that much difference in age, her sentence is pretty close. Well, there there was there was 11 years difference in age here. Yeah, and I think the kind of the key cutoff age is about 12. If it's 12 or less, then it, they're considered really serious. So you're telling me, because you know, there'll be a lot of men listening right now. You're telling me if there's a 25-year-old man out there and he has sex with a 14-year-old or a 13-year-old girl, he can pretty well be assured of not getting any jail time. Yes and no. It depends on the circumstances. It depends on how long it went on. There's, I, I can't say... So hit it and quit it, boys. Is that what you're saying? If well, you're gonna nail a 13-year-old girl. You got to hit it and quit it. Yes and no. I think they probably they might have gone slightly easier on her, but really it's not not that far off of what potentially can happen. Probation for something like that, assuming she's a first-time offender and uh, she's not considered to be a predator. I don't know if they had her take a uh, you know a psych uh, psychological evaluation or something. That's pretty close to what I've seen. When I read the article about her sentence yesterday, I said, "Oh yeah, that's about right. That's about." Some of the uh, some of the people I used to see and I used to supervise. Hang on a second, Mark. Let me get another Mark on here. Mark, what were you going to say to me, Mr. Likas? Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Okay. You know, I, I just have to tell you real quick. As far as this conversation, um, I have to let you know. I, I had to deal with sex offenders in the United States Marine Corps. Let me tell you right now. Any individual, especially the ones that were coming back from the Gulf, they were out in the field for too long. When we had two cases in particular in our unit where they had molested a child, an individual that was under the age of 18, they were looking at a minimum of 10 to 15 years in Leavenworth. So 
I I have to tell you right now the disparity between what has been given to this chick because she has um, uh, euphemistically speaking a nice rack and a good smile and the average guy there's not even a comparison. Let me tell you right now if she had been serving in the military it would have been handed to her with a freaking ice pack and she'd be in Leavenworth right now with any questions asked court martial notwithstanding 10 to 15 years period. All right, but uh, the, uh, this person was not in the military. She was a teacher in an elementary school. I, I understand that. So all, all the more, then how can it be she took this young boy's innocence? And the bottom line is this. Let me tell you right now from personal experience, because I can tell you I had a babysitter that had a... I know that a lot of guys out there would consider it a great experience. Let me tell you, I had spent the first five years of my life in the United States Marine Corps having to undo the damage that she did to me. And that was at 15 years old. So, you know, although it might seem like the cool thing to do, this boy was 14. He was not mature at the time that this teacher, who's supposed to be the person that he looks up to to set him a good example, had, you know, done this uh, egregious act. It's not kosher just because she's a cute chick. No, I agree with that, and I think the other Mark probably agrees with that, too. Let me get Dan in here. Dan, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, look at, they're not looking at the flip side of the coin. You know, the kid, the this boy, 14-year-old boy, should be happy that he counts the girl that's 11 times his age, you know? How many guys... Not 11 times his age. Yeah. Uh, 11 times his age would be 154 11 years old. years older than his age, you know, so I'm sorry about that. Twice his age, basically. You know, how many guys out there, these two guys talking as well? The fact that a boy might be happy about that doesn't mean it's good for him. For example... If you looked at a 10-year-old boy and said, how would you like the keys to my Mercedes? He'd oh, yeah. Be very, say, yeah. He'd be very happy. Yeah, they'll have to. But he might also end up crashing into a wall. So what? So what? It's experience. It's like, how many, how many guys are out there who want to... Well, there are certain experiences that can ruin somebody. Let's take the now husband of that Mary Kay Letourneau. Yes. Who has spent most of his uh, his life uh, since becoming close to an adult and becoming an adult, basically unemployed. Yeah. He's had a criminal record. Uh, he's been, as uh, far as I can tell, a slacker whose primary income came from writing a book about his sleazy experience. And, um, <laughs> you know, don't you think it's possible having sex at 11, 12, 13 years old had an effect on him? Uh, what's the effect of guys who are... Masturbating at 14, 15. Not, not the same. I mean, it's not the same. I mean, and by the way, if it's bad for girls, it's have. bad for boys. You see, you can't have a double standard here. But some kids do have sex at 12, 13, 14. It, again, you can't have, it's about the double standard. If you had sex with a 14 year old girl, you would not get uh, sentenced to three years right. in your home. No, no, there's two, there's, two, uh, there's two sides of what I'm trying to say. First of all, you're saying the elite, the legality of it is, and the the, 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 other, the other thing I'm talking trying to talk about is the experience of this boy. Legality, I know what you're talking about. Okay, legally it's bad because you know it's underage, and uh, the woman should be sentenced like a man. If women want to be treated like men, they should be sentenced like men. Okay, that I agree with. But the flip side of the coin is with the with a with this boy or whoever. I mean. It's an experience like, wow, this is great. You know, like these two guys are saying, oh, I had a babysitter. You know, this. But the fact that a, a boy thinks that's great doesn't mean it is great for him. Who, I don't know. I, no one knows. No one well, ever there have been kid. studies on that, actually. No one ever interviewed a kid. How many, how I, many actual people have their... But there have been studies about boys in general that this happens to. And many of them grow up troubled. Yeah, but how many studies are made about guys who actually did it? About boys who did it and were okay and were not okay. Okay. It's a matter of percentages. Generally speaking. Okay, generally speaking. Generally speaking, boys are harmed by this. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, in your perspective, yeah. No, no, not my perspective. The perspective of the people who took the survey. Yeah, but surveys can always be... All right. For, you know, we can't have a conversation uh, based on that. You know, surveys are scientific. And generally, they are accepted as um, scientific. And you should not... Uh, you can't have a conversation with somebody who doesn't accept evidence. He hasn't even read 
You don't know if the study is flawed. You haven't read it. Read it first and then call up and tell me what the flaws are. Don't be speculating on how flawed it could be because it's a survey. Stupid. Art on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Okay, Art. Hey, just a question for you. Yeah. What's going to happen uh, six months from now when this chick is uh, out doing her thing and then uh, somebody rapes her? Is that person going to get the, the, the sweet deal she got? Yeah, I'd like to see that happen. You know, three years since to being at home with my computer and my television set. Exactly. I mean, I wish I could do that. I can't even get to telecommute from work. I mean, hell, Martha Stewart got more prison time than a woman who raped a 14-year-old boy. Oh, I know. And uh, it's just getting ridiculous. Uh, these, these women uh, fighting for rights, they want uh, to be treated the same. But uh, when it comes to the flip side of the coin, you never see them around. Well, I think you're right about that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chris. Long time, first time. It is such a pleasure. I know. It is like a Friday and a kickoff on a long holiday weekend. We yes. Talk about what's important here. I saw that chick on the Today Show this morning. She is freaking hot. Uh -huh. I guarantee you he spent less than 40 bucks. Didn't have to call her back. She's an L.A. 10, and I guarantee you she's not a single mom. But she is a rapist. Yeah, but she is hot, Tom. Let's talk about what's important, the experience of that 14-year-old. That's, that's what's That's what's important. Sex when, I was, when I was 14, and I'm, I'm fine. Well, says you. I have no idea if you're fine or not. Well, I mean, I'm a successful businessman, and I mean, a lot of it's that's pretty common for for a boy. To well, I don't know if you're a drug addict, an alcoholic, if you've got other physical or emotional problems. I have no idea. Yeah, but I have none of that. But that's pretty typical in, in America today for a 14 year old boy to have sex. Uh, not with his teacher. That is not typical. Well, I'm sure she she taught him a lot of stuff. Other. Than it's typical for a 14 year old boy to have sex with his 14 year old girlfriend. That's typical. Th that is typical, but... I Having sex with your 25-year-old teacher, not typical. I, I would have... And been. illegal. I would have loved to have been in his shoes, Tom. Well, you say that, but you have no idea what impact that would have had on you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. What is your take on Internet dating? Most of the women are fat and don't like to send you pictures. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas show from Los Angeles, reminding you boys in Dallas, Fort Worth. You can hear by the sound of my voice. I've had a bit of the crud lately, and uh, we were planning on Boys Night Out for uh, next Friday, December 2nd. We're going to postpone it, because I want my voice in tip-top condition. We're going to shoot the DVD in Dallas and all that. We want to be in perfect shape for that, and I want to give you the best show I can. So if you've bought tickets, for refund information, call this number. It's Ticketmaster, 214 Three seven three eight thousand. That's how you get re your refund. Two one four three seven three eight thousand. Uh, boys' night out postponed. It will not be happening a week from Friday, and we're making that announcement now. Two one four three seven three eight thousand, and get your refund, and then uh, we'll reschedule. And we'll tell you when that's going to be. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Deborah Lafave. No jail time for nailing a 14-year-old student in her class. Sam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, yes. I'm a woman. I'm 31. Um, I'm a mother of two, and I think she's sick. I think she deserves jail time, just like anybody else. You think so? Yeah, she violated a child's innocence. She became a teacher to, to mold our children, to teach our children, to be a safe haven for them, and she's going to take his innocence away like that? If it was another 14-year-old girl, fine, they're exper experimenting, they're doing what kids do. But a 25-year-old, she should know better. Hang on a second, Sam. Julie, you don't agree with Sam. Why not? Um, I think, first, I want to preface it by saying I think they're wrong, but I don't think that they're predators or a menace to society. I think if it's consensual... Then, yeah, it's wrong, but I don't think you deserve to be in prison for 30 years. Okay, so a consensual 14-year-old girl um, having sex with a 25- or 30-year-old man and her mom wants to throw him in jail, he'll get jail time. Well, I mean, that, that, why is that different if he takes her innocence or if she takes his? I don't think there should be a double standard. I don't think it should be any different. But if a 14-year-old girl is coming on to a 25-year-old teacher, 
then I don't know. I don't think it's rape. You know, I, but you know, teaching. But legally, it is rape, and and if is. that happens, and then the girl decides to complain because the guy doesn't call her back, or isn't gonna be in love with her, or something like that, she can have him thrown in jail. And You're that's right. pretty much the way it goes. You're right, but it's kind of messed up. If if some if the younger person is the one bringing it on, I think it's wrong, but I don't think it's a thirty year jail time. And Tom, you were talking about that study that said that the boys were messed up from it. I think if you're the type of boy that's going to come on to your teacher, you might have problems that leave you susceptible to problems later on in life. Well, anyway. for example, if you're coming on to your teacher, it could be because you were molested by your parents. It could be true. But just because so you, you may already have life, problems. You may already have problems. Right. But you might have problems in the study that don't have anything to do with the sex. You might have gotten into problems anyway. The point is, uh, are you advocating we have no age of consent? No, that's where my argument falls apart. I think 13, 14, I mean, I don't know where to draw the line, but there's some pretty hot 13, 14 year olds. The fact that you're hot, does that mean you're mature enough to be having sex? No, it doesn't. All but right. It's some pretty hot 12 year olds out there. I saw it. I was at the elementary school. By the way, I'm not kidding. There's an elementary school next to our, uh, next to our uh, uh, studio. And there are 11 year old girls that are 36 double D's walking down the street with Hello Kitty backpacks. Yeah. Now, does that mean that they are available for the taking? No, no. But they're, they're pretty hot. Cool. They are they're hot. They go out of their way to come on to you, and over time you break so down. So you're telling me if, an, if one of these 11 year old girls with the 36 double D's next door, you're telling me if she throws down her Hello Kitty backpack, rips off her shirt, and says, "Take me," you're telling yeah, well, me that I should be able to do that? No. Because she's hot, and she came on to me. Well, 11. See, that's where I don't know. 14, All right, 12. Maybe. How about 12? Oh, I don't know. But 14 is what the case is today. No, 14. No. I don't think it's right, but I don't think that that no. means that you're a sexual predator and that you have to register and everybody does. has to keep their kids away. So you're all I need is a 14-year-old girl to come on to me. That's all I need. No. So if I go on no, there and say, okay, girls, now I know you want me, but I can't come after you. You've got to call me. And then no. they call me. You're telling me it should be okay. No, I mean, not just not? One, come on. Most of these times, they come on over months and months. They, like, break these people down. And it's still not right. But I'm saying that they're not the type of people that you have to watch because they're going to grab people out of the bushes, you know. Uh, why Why wouldn't you think She's that? still a sexual predator. I don't, I don't think predator is the right word. They're, yeah, they're I think she's problems. still a sexual predator. Because the thing of it is this law is designed to to protect children because we know for a fact children cannot make their own decisions like that. That is a mature decision that, mature, that needs mature thinking. And a 14-year-old, I'm sorry, can't make that decision for their You're own. You're right. It is a mistake. But so well, Tom's we analogy with the keys them. to the Mercedes I don't think is... Accurate, I, because you're worried that he's going to crash the car and die. I mean, STDs well, aside, you're not going to die. You might not die. Somebody. You might just drive the car into a fire hydrant or something. You might not no, die. If we, if well, we then not, it's a lesson learned, isn't it? No, no. We need but to But the point is, you, see, you really want to be teaching kids by handing them the keys to your Mercedes? No. <laughs> no. They go no, but if I did hand the keys... Yeah, the, 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 argument, the argument that a boy would be happy if his teacher came on to him does not mean that that boy is getting something that's good for it. Right, no, exactly. but there's a lot of things that aren't good for you, but you just, you know, and he's 14, he deal. doesn't have that choice. He's 14, he doesn't have that choice to make that decision. His parents Let's, need so to let's just it. take an example. So do you think there's a magic switch at 18 that says, okay, I can make choices now? Well, no, but I mean, he we have to have a law. What's the cutoff? We have, to, we have to protect our children. We have he a cutoff. A it's 18. That's the law. In some some right. states, it's 16. Some states, right. it's 17. It's the law. But exactly. it's kind of an arbitrary cutoff. I mean, I wanted to have sex at 16. Well, it has to be teacher. arbitrary because, uh, you know, what are we going to say? All right, 12. I know. Well, let's, let's take, for instance, their body. There's a gray area there. there. There's plenty of 16 year olds that are. Yeah, the law really does not have gray areas. You have to, the law has to be in the law. You can't have a law that says, well, we'll take this on a case by case basis. This you know, little girl looks like she's 21 years right. old, so it's okay for her. This You're girl right. looks immature and has braces, so it's not okay for her. You're yeah, right. There has to be a cutoff for punishment, but for, I mean, Tom, if you're 16 and you want to nail some chick, 
and you do, and then, oh, well, you weren't 18, so everybody has to go to jail now. I mean, that's ridiculous. Some 16-year-olds are more mature than 18-year-olds, and I understand there has to be a cutoff, but to be detrimental and, oh, this person is going to be messed up because they were three days shy of their 18th birthday doesn't make any sense either. Well, again, I so... I think she's an adult. I think she's an adult, and she should know better. Even if he was coming on to her, she should... There's something in her brain that should switch on and say, Hey, I'm older than him. I'm an adult. He's he's a child. He's still an adolescent. Boys don't mature, really, till they're about You're 18 absolutely or 20. right, and I agree with so you. She should be punished. She's not a predator. 30 years in jail. She is a predator. Oh, definitely. She needs at least 10. At least. At no least way. to be fair, definitely. There's she is a sexual predator. Who can gunpoint and get six months? So why should somebody that has consensual well, Tom, inappropriate sex do 30 years? Well, Tom used the analogy that Martha Stewart got a hell of a lot more jail time than she's getting, and it's true. And she, what I think is she didn't even need all of that. Maybe she should have been on house arrest for how, six, six well, months by herself. Well, Mary Chase got more jail time than most and men that do the same thing. Uh, well, and she uh, yeah, but why? Because she got caught more than once. That's why. Yeah, Her original like, sentence was nothing. Like Her original That's sentence true. was nothing. Yeah, no. <laughs> she was able to commit the crime more than once because she was let out. Yeah, yeah right. too. I'm just saying I don't think it's as big of a deal as people... Oh, it's definitely a big deal. Do you have children? No. That's why you don't think it's a big deal. Because the well, I know. When I was 13, I wanted doing... to nail my teacher, and if he would have gone for it, I would have. See, and that would have been wrong on his part. And he definitely would have been a sexual predator because he's looking for that. Well, yeah, but I would have been happy about it. I don't think I would have so been. So if I want to go out there and, and nail 14-year-olds who are hot for me, you're saying, Julie, that's okay. I mean, no, I'm not, it. but I'm saying you don't deserve Why not? 30 years in jail. Why? How much would be the appropriate punishment for me if I start nailing 14-year-olds? Uh, if it's consensual, let's make it a misdemeanor. And no way. Really? No way. <laughs> no way. Is that so? I no way. I hope you're on my jury when I get caught. Yeah, she's a sexual deviant. There's no way. No, no doubt way. about it, but 30 years, I mean, what do you have to do in this country to get 30 years? Not 30 years, but I mean, that. Jesus Christ, a lot more than three years of probation with an anklet. By the way, I don't think anybody's getting 30 years for this. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hit it, hit it, hit it, and quit it. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Again, reminding the boys in Dallas and Fort Worth that we have postponed Boys Night Out. It was scheduled for next Friday, December 2nd. Well, my voice has been trashed, and so uh, we're going to postpone the show, uh, which included a shooting of our DVD. I mean, my God, that DVD will be out there forever, so we need to be perfect. So we are postponing and uh, offering you a refund. Simply by calling Ticketmaster at 214-373-8000. you had tickets to Boys Night out of the Majestic Theater in Dallas, we are postponing it and offering you a refund at uh, 214-373-8000. You call them right now, you'll get your refund, and then we will announce a new date for Boys Night Out. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Catherine. Catherine, not ready yet. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Tom, I'm going through a tunnel. Hold on. You, can you hear me? I can so far. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, I'm a I'm a teacher, and uh, I was shocked at the the sentence that she received. I work with uh, children one on one. I'm a physical therapist, and I have to be in areas where it's like there's nobody around, and uh, that's a big concern for me. And I just it's a trust issue. My God, you know these people are saying it's not rape. It is rape because it's like. Police officer takes an oath uh, to do his job and not break the law. And uh, a teacher, it's trust. It's a huge amount of trust involved when you teach. And uh, this teacher went way over the line and actually should be punished at least 10 to 15 years for that. Because, uh, you know, and I work with these children, and, and at 14, you are a child. You, you don't make intelligent decisions when you're 14. And it, it, it messes up that kid for life because yeah. he's, he's not, that's, there's no concentration in academics. 
you know, and it, it's going to cause him to think sexually uh, way more active than what he should be, and it, it distracts from your main goal with that child is to educate. And I just felt she broke that trust issue. Good points, Tony. Catherine, uh, you're the last call of this hour. Hello. All right, Tom, how are you today? Good. All right, I want to say I agree with you so wholeheartedly on this. I think that parents need to really be hearing what's going on. 14 is 14, and I don't care if she was 21 or 25 or if she was a teacher or a hooker or whatever. She committed a crime. She committed a violation against a child. I don't care if it was consensual. She needs to face the exact same punishment as a man would. And I'm really disappointed that our community, our society, and our judicial system... Yeah, they all don't see it, I know. The Tom Likas Show.